Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled Planet X Debris Entering the Atmosphere. Now, in the morning of June 29, 2018, several people witnessed a strange cloud formation in the sky. The screenshots below come from videos by Third Phase of the Moon and Mr. MBB333 YouTube channels. The strange formation consisted of a spiraling and twisted cloud formation emitting several different colors of light. It's mainly emitting blue light here. Um, the twisted cloud formation ends in a pin of light, as you can see here, surrounded by a diffuse cloud, which also emits light, and this blue light, which we see here. So these were seen over Florida on, on the morning of June 29, 2018, and you can see the cloud twists and spirals, and the tip uh, seems to be moving down toward the ground. Now, witness speaking on Mr. MBB333 video uh, reporting on this event described the structure as first moving parallel to the ground, then remaining still in the air, and then moving toward the ground. And also that the cloud emitted several colors, namely red, green, and blue, in turn ending up emitting this blue light, which we see here. There were some reports that the structure was produced by a rocket launch, but yet no rocket launch was previously announced. Furthermore, a rocket does not produce a cloud formation which remains in place for such an extended period of time, nor is it likely to emit the colors described. Rockets have been launched since the 1960s and have never before been associated with the appearance of noctilucent clouds or the strange cloud formations now being observed. A rocket produces smoke which quickly dissipates. It is obvious that the twisted cloud formation seen in the above screenshots did not dissipate. It looked like the cloud that is formed due to the presence of cloud condensation centers or small particles in the atmosphere onto which water condenses into small droplets thus producing clouds. But this cloud formation cannot just be normal cloud as it emits light, which indicates that ionization of some kind is occurring, which is likely to involve the capturing of electrons by ions, ions or atoms that are missing electrons. The capture of electrons would then result in the emission of photons or light of various wavelengths. Now, something similar was seen over California on December 22, 2017, and you see an image of that here. And the SpaceX Falcon 9 launch on December 22, 2018 was reported to have produced a strange cloud formation in the sky. At the time, the formation was attributed to the production of noctilucent clouds due to the type of fuel used or due to direct spraying of the Earth's upper atmosphere by the rocket. And you may look at Article 137 entitled Noctilucent Clouds, Rocket Launches, and Chemtrails, What Are They Hiding? So the article that I wrote about what was occurring then. Now notice the pin of light surrounded by a low-density cloud. There are actually two here. Um, very similar to what is seen in Figure 1. So this uh, pin of light at the front. The pin of light and diffuse light emitting cloud was followed by a spiraling and denser cloud formation. There we see it here. Uh, which also emitted light. In this case, white light. In this case, the formation was at a higher altitude than the formation seen over Florida more recently, and its light-giving properties could be attributed to noctilucent clouds, which are known to form at very high altitudes and are supposed to only be seen once the sun has set. However, in the more recent event, the strange cloud formation has clearly formed at a much lower altitude, which is too low to be attributed to a noctilucent cloud formation, which is supposed to only occur at altitudes of 50 miles or higher.
The similarity between the cloud formations suggests that it is due to the same phenomenon or type of object, but that the phenomenon cannot be due to noctilucent clouds that is now forming at a much lower altitude. The fact that the formation seems to be following the pin of light suggests that the pin of light is what is driving the formation. And the fact that in the recent occurrence, the pin of light followed by the spiraling cloud formation moves parallel to the ground and then towards the ground, but slowly, suggests that it is a small object which is not affected by the Earth's gravitational field as normal objects such as meteors would be affected and is thus most likely stellar core debris moving inside the Earth's atmosphere. The object's interaction with the atmosphere must thus be producing the colorful spiraling cloud formation. This is cloud formation that is producing the spiraling trail behind the object and thus condensation of water droplets around small particles in the atmosphere. This cannot be smoke, as smoke would quickly dissipate and move upwards. This object is observed to move down toward the ground and the trail of cloud to move downwards behind it. This suggests that the object is drawing small particles behind it, perhaps a trail of very small stellar core debris, which is causing formation of droplets or water condensation in the atmosphere, thus creating the cloud effect. The stellar core debris must also be interacting electrically with atmospheric particles, absorbing electrons and emitting light as a result. You would expect stellar core matter, which is low in energy, to absorb energy from higher energy particles, such as what it would encounter in the Earth's atmosphere, through an electrical type of interaction. And since stellar core matter is known to be depleted in electrons, you would expect it to absorb electrons as well, thus leading to the observed effect. And you may look at Article 184 entitled Stellar Core Evolution for more details on that and the state of electron depletion of this type of matter. So here we again see the strange uh, colorful cloud formation headed by a pin of light. Now we can see in this image. In this image it will be uh, below here. And this is similar to what was seen over California on December 22nd, 2017, but now seems to be occurring at a much lower altitude. In some of the images, you can actually see trees in front. Uh, the most likely explanation for such a phenomenon is that stellar core debris in the form of small object of a small object followed by a trail of dust entered the Earth's atmosphere. Now, noctilucent clouds were first observed in the Earth's atmosphere in 1850 and never observed before that time. Uh, and you may look at Article 146 entitled Planet X System Time of Arrival. This suggests that this signaled the beginning of the Planet X system of stellar cores first entering the solar system. It is also likely that these objects and the debris coming off them immediately started affecting all the planets as well as the Sun. It is therefore likely that stellar core debris started reaching Earth then and that it was the debris entering the atmosphere that led to the formation of noctilucent clouds in the upper atmosphere. It seems therefore likely that noctilucent clouds are actually produced by stellar core debris or matter entering the Earth's atmosphere. In conclusion, the strange cloud and light emitting uh, cloud formation uh, recently observed over Florida and observed over California on December 22, 2017, appear to be the result of stellar core debris in the form of a small object followed by a trail of small stellar core dust particles. It also appears that noctilucent clouds, which started being observed in 1850, are actually the result of stellar core debris entering the Earth's atmosphere. And the fact that they started appearing in 1850 indicates that Planet X system, that the Planet X system of stellar cores, started arriving in the solar system at about that time. Furthermore, rocket launches have been used in an attempt to cover up the true nature and cause of the phenomenon caused by the entrance of stellar core debris into the Earth's atmosphere. And here are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist.
Thank you for watching.